stops there. The Frontier's strict no bottles outside rule doesn't meet with the approval of one young lady. The A-level results party surprises everyone by turning nasty. It even reminds Ian of being in combat in his army days. We all thought it was just going to be a, a load of 18, 19 year olds coming in, getting pissed, going home and jobs are good. Didn't work out like that though. For some reason or another, it just went into World War Three. It was like being back in Beirut again. The frontier turns into a battlefield as troublemakers are bounced out of the club and the police are kept busy with multiple arrests. The people that were arrested, they were the local idiots. I don't think we had any actual bother with students. It's just the local dickheads that get the ale down them and then just, just carry on. At Mr Smith's in Warrington, things are a lot quieter as Gibbo and Dave arrive to take up their positions on the door. But Gibbo is always on the lookout for trouble. I say to some people, like, here are ice, because they'll obviously walk and they'll have the head down. And I like to, like, make a bit of eye contact. Right. Okay. No, like, I'm making a judgment to see, like, have they had too much to drink? Are they old enough? Are they starting to have a quick look in the eyes? You okay? You okay? See if they're being on any illegal substances? You okay? You alright? You okay? As ever, Gibbo's gentle touch works a charm. You alright, Tyler? Not tonight. You've had a bit too much to drink tonight, okay? You know, you're falling everywhere, your demeanor's all wrong, you know? Okay, I'm falling everywhere. Okay. I'm standing on my own two feet. Can't understand you. Go on, what? Not tonight, Alan. Okay. <laughs> no, you're okay. How lovely, aren't I? It's nice to be nice, isn't it? You know what I mean? At the frontier, most people are having a good time, but one guy is caught dancing on the stage. That's a big no no. So the party's over for him as he's bundled outside. Sorry, I didn't realise you couldn't go on stage. You've been told now three or four times. I've not been told on that fucking stage. You've been told three or four times tonight. Seriously, now, I've not been told. It's not up for discussion, mate. Well, it should be. It's not up for discussion. It's not up for argument either. The self confidence seemed to shoot through the roof. You could have a, a five stone wet through bloke who wouldn't say boo to a goose when he's stone cold sober all of a sudden he gets five pints of Stella down and he can take on the world. No it's not alright. It's a bloody monopoly. It's not alright. It's not a monopoly mate. 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 Inside, some are knocking back the alcohol like it's going out of fashion. Many bouncers on the front line think that binge drinking in Britain has got worse. It has gone worse nowadays, probably for the simple reason because of all the offers they do at bars. You know yourself, you can go into a bar and get two for one, which I think is like, it's a nightmare to the pub and club industry. Gibbo and Keith won't let anyone in who they think is over the limit. Yeah, not tonight. Shall we move from the door? Thank you. It's been drinking water all night. What? <laughs> the water must be laced with vodka. Never mind getting in a club. He wouldn't get in a riot. Right? <laughs> That's one customer not getting in tonight. They're all God's children. Bouncers may have cleaned up their image these days, but violent injuries have always been an occupational hazard. I've had injuries, plenty of injuries throughout the past. 
I've had uh, your fractured skulls. I've had my eye knocked out, um, glass slivers in my eyes. I've been stabbed in the arm. Stitches in the head, nearly lost the testicle. Broken every finger in one hand. I've been attacked with various, various inanimate objects. Anybody can come by it, shoot you. I've had guns pulled on me a couple of times. Stab you, will pass you, thrash it in your face. Been switch bladed, uh, been Stanley bladed. I've been hit on the head with a bottle. And I've also had uh, things stuck in me, like kebab sticks. <laughs> Back at the A-level party in Batley, it's getting hot and sweaty, and there's trouble brewing. Coming up, an incident at the Frontier front door pushes Bungie to the limits. You don't ever have bubble like this, ever. Nobody can see you've got all of your bollocks. It's A-level results night, and inside the Frontier Club in Batley, the party is in full flow. Outside, the bouncers are ready in case it all kicks off. But if there's one thing most doormen hate these days, it's actually being called bouncers. I don't like the word bouncer. Everybody used to have a stereotypical picture in the head of a doorman who's a meathead, good for nothing else, got tattoos all over the place and he's thick as pig shit. That ain't the case now. We've got guys who've got degrees, for God's sake. Have a tomorrow, I class myself as an ejection technician or uh, a crowd control engineer. If someone was to come to me and say, do you supply bouncers? I would say, no. We supply security staff, not bouncers. Door staff these days prefer to talk their way out of trouble. But in the past, many bouncers were violent bruisers and proud of it. Years ago, almost every doorman on every pub club had a baseball bat. That's unheard of now. You don't have that. And knuckle dusters, you, you don't have that now. The doorman of the day, the, most of them are, are mummies boys and, and college kids and stuff like that who, who can't fight or and, and who, who are not fighting men. At the frontier, modern-day doorman G recognises the violent dangers he and his workmates face on a night like tonight. Worst thing about the job, knowing that I could be smashed over the head by a glass or a bottle and die, really. Whereas six, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, people were willing to have a dust up and leave it at that. Now it's some little chav with no morals, pick up a bottle, 30. 30 seconds later, I'm dead. Every time you put this tie on, you've got a chance of visiting the police station, visiting the accident emergency, or visiting the morgue. As the temperature rises at the frontier, Ian admits he actually likes it hot. I do like the adrenaline rush every now and again. It keeps you going, it keeps you on your toes. I'm being funny, mate. I'm being straight with you. Move, now. There's plenty to keep them on their toes as more people are shown the door. Get off my arm, you're going to go out. Yeah, no need for that, no need for that. No need for that one. Well, then why are you fucking telling me that my fucking mother was like? The A-level night has been a nightmare so far for Bungie, and it's not over yet. Rather large incident earlier on, a um, lot of lads scuffling, fighting, a lot of lads arrested across the road. That's why we've got police presence, and uh, we'll just get them on. And uh, you know, here we've got some coming out now. Come on, you can swatch out, fella. Come on, fella, bloody hell. Fuck's sake! 